Right now, live at 5, striking back, Wisconsin's governor sounds off on a major state Supreme Court ruling that overrides the state's stay-at-home order. Coming up today, how Wisconsin restaurants and bars are preparing to open back up. How prepared are Duluth hospitals for the COVID-19 surge? We'll share that next. Law says bars and restaurants in Minnesota prepare to open their doors. Look back at how the pandemic has impacted them. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Madison, Wisconsin, where the Supreme Court has shot down Governor Tony Evers' safer at-home extension. Good evening, I'm Kristen Vaki. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. The last 24 hours have been full of confusion, chaos, and in some cases, celebration all over Wisconsin after the Wisconsin Supreme Court abruptly ended the state's stay-at-home order. Let's start by unpacking the last 24 hours. It was right here during our 5 o'clock news last night that we told you the state Supreme Court blocked Wisconsin's safer at-home order. They said the ruling overstepped boundaries and all future or orders have to go through the state's legislature. That left some businesses, bars, and restaurants wondering what came next. In the hour following that ruling, the Tavern League advised bars to reopen, and many did exactly that. Some other businesses have followed suit, while others continue to wait. We'll hear from businesses. Now today, Governor Tony Evers is asking Wisconsinites to continue following the Safer at Home order anyway. anyway. During his press conference this afternoon, the Democrats said the court's ruling threw the state into chaos. Ebert still wants residents to stay home, wear a mask, and limit travel. Even with all this chaos, we cannot let the court's ruling undo all the work we have done and all the sacrifices Wisconsin's have made over these past few months. We need everybody to continue doing their part to keep our families, our neighbors, and our communities safe. Ebert said he worries that more people could get sick or overwhelm the state's hospitals. But it's important to know that according to the court's ruling, counties and cities have the power to issue their own restrictions. State health officials say a handful of counties have already issued their own guidance. CBS 3's Ryan Campo joins us live from Superior tonight. Ryan, you heard from the mayor and other Douglas County leaders this afternoon. What did they have to say? Yeah, Kristen and Tony, their biggest message today was they want businesses to wait to reopen and make sure if they do, they have safety precautions in place. Payne and county leaders said they're still having conversations about exactly what that will look like and that they plan to put a guide together for reopening. But in the meantime, they're referring business owners to the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's website, which they say is state-approved guidance outlining things like sanitation, employee health, and spacing people out. Again, they're asking businesses to wait to reopen until they have these things in place. There's still a lot of unknowns coming from the state. There's still decisions to be made, some guidance still is coming out, and we want to make sure that decisions that we make are in alignment with the state, as well as being the best um, for our community here. Kathy Ronchi, Douglas County's public health officer, says if the county has an outbreak, they will be doing contact tracing. Now, if that tracing leads to a certain business and their practices aren't in alignment with what they are recommending, Ronchi says that business could be closed. Now, she says she obviously doesn't want that to happen, which is why they are announcing these guidelines right away. And Ronchi says that if you don't feel comfortable going outside to just stay home. Some uh, good explanations there. I know a lot of folks confused over the last 24 hours. Thanks, Ryan. Well, Superior will hold its 4th of July fireworks this year, but the mayor says they'll light them off from the fairgrounds instead of near Barker's Island. The parade will also see some changes to help prevent crowds. Duluth announced earlier this week they've pushed their fireworks to Labor Day. Some businesses in Superior are taking full advantage of the court's ruling last night, while others are not. We spoke with Gronk's Bar and Grill in Superior. Owner Mike Moore says the court's ruling was a surprise at first. They had made plans for May 26th reopening, but after last night's news, they decided to open just hours later. Moore says they had a handful of customers at the bar last night and today as well. When asked why they decided to reopen, Moore said, quote, We're grunts, and that's just what we do. He says they're following state and CDC guidelines by keeping one table in between all customers and seating at a limited capacity. Moore adds they've increased sanitation efforts, including wiping down all menus. 
Now, since last night's opening, the owner says they haven't run into any issues. Yeah, we've got the paperwork out front that shows what we're supposed to be doing and uh, what they're asking us to do. So that we're, we're doing our best with short notice. Moore says many of their food and liquor orders won't come for another week when they initially planned to open. Moore says right now they've adjusted their hours to close at 8 p.m. He says if things continue to run smoothly, they'll start to resume normal hours. Now, not all of Superior's bars and restaurants are operating like Gronk's. Many businesses are continuing to offer curbside pickup and delivery. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from another Superior restaurant that's taking some time to plan before reopening. Meanwhile, Ashland and Bayfield counties issued a joint travel safer advisory today. It recommends residents check with local communities for specific safety updates and closures before traveling. It also asks residents to respect safety protocols when visiting local businesses. You can view the entire advisory on our website. And here's a quick look at the number of coronavirus cases in the region. In Minnesota, there are more than 500 new cases and 34 new deaths. In Wisconsin, there are nearly 400 new cases and 13 new deaths. And in Michigan, there are 1,200 new cases with 73 new deaths. Worldwide, there are 4.5 million cases, 300,000 deaths, and 1.7 million recoveries. All right, Dave joins us for a quick look at the weather. Dave, gloomy start to the morning, but I think I saw the uh, sun poke its head out there earlier this afternoon. But that's just a break in between low okay. pressure systems. The first one brought us that rain yesterday and through this morning. Then we got the break midday like I was hoping, and now there's another smaller low towards North Dakota that's coming to call tonight to keep the rain chance going till about midnight or so. Mm -hmm. So let's take a live look at what's happening at Cass Lake. I fired up one of our farthest west cameras to see if there were any signs of trouble in the sky, and it is a gray sky out that way. There's a slight chance the second low tonight could bring us a couple of thunderstorms, just the isolated, non-severe variety, though. So there's the situation. There's yesterday's low already to the east. There's the new one coming in from the west, and the result is about a 50, 60 percent chance of rain tonight for a few more hours, but then the day planner tomorrow shows mostly sunny sky coming our way once again, and high temps go to about two degrees warmer than normal. Will that last through the weekend? I'll show you the seven day with the details in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, Ashland is providing some guidance for businesses in their area. Plus, a second business in Hibbing has a confirmed case of COVID-19. City by City is next. And tonight at 6, we're hearing local reaction to the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruling. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Bakke, Anthony Matt, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS 3. With your support, Home has delivered 20,000 meals to our local heroes. You've allowed us into your home for 30 years, and you can continue to count on us. Thank you, and also thanks to all our home employees. Together, when it comes to staying safe, we'll make sure there's no place like home. I'm Dr. Amy Van Stratton with St. Luke's Obstetrics and Gynecology Associates. I have two daughters. They'll ask me when I get home from work, did I help any babies come out and what are their names? And then they will like to evaluate if that was a good name or not. With robotic technology, it's very rewarding to be able to do difficult surgeries through small incisions and see patients recover so quickly. When a patient comes to St. Luke's, I feel like they really get personalized care and it's really rewarding to see patients absolutely loving their care. Hi, John with Prime Appliance, and our big 6% instant rebate sale has been extended through May 15th. Take another 6% off our entire in-stock and on-sale selection. Save a total of $240 on this high-end Beko dishwasher, now just $459 after rebate. Check out our huge selection of Napoleon grills with free assembly and free local drop-off delivery. Financing always available. Get it delivered or take it home today. Prime Appliance and Superior, the best place to buy your appliances. For the news that impacts you most, turn to Live Local CBS 3. Wake up with Austin and Jenna at 5 a.m. We all want to do our part to keep our communities safe. Thank you for your efforts to stay home. But you shouldn't stay home no matter what. If you have a medical emergency, call 911 immediately. Our emergency departments are open and ready to care for every type of illness or injury. If you have a chronic condition, call your clinic and we can help manage your care. Our facilities are clean and safe. Please, seek care when you need it. Essentia Health and St. Luke's are open and ready to care for you. 
Home Sleep Express has more mattresses than any other retailer. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it at Sleep Express. Right now, get six-year financing on Tempur-Pedic, Purple, Heirloom, and more. With more selection at the best price, why shop anywhere else but Home Sleep Express? Here's a live look from Bayfield, Wisconsin. Dave Anderson will have your full weather forecast in just a few minutes. But first, let's see what's happening around the region. Ashland is offering guidance to businesses seeking to reopen. Plus, a photographer is helping create memories for seniors in Cloquet. That and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. Communities across Wisconsin are taking their next steps following the state Supreme Court's ruling to end the stay-at-home order. In Ashland, the county is advising local businesses to take precautions as they wait for guidance from the state legislature. The county is suggesting businesses adopt a plan that covers disinfecting services, surfaces, screening staff, and implement social distancing. Moving now to Hibbing, where an employee at Super One Foods has tested positive for COVID-19. Super One is the second business in Hibbing to have a confirmed case of the virus. According to the store manager, the employee in question told them he tested positive on May 10th and has not been back to work since. A professional cleaning crew was brought in Monday to decontaminate the store. Meanwhile, a photographer in Cloquet is coming through for seniors as they prepare to graduate without the bells and whistles of a regular ceremony. Ava Grandal is a student at Carleton High School. She began shooting senior photos for friends last year, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, she is now offering that service for free. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, go ahead and send us an email, and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, we're, uh, we're learning more from area hospitals officials on their efforts to combat COVID-19. Well, here's a live look at the Jacobson area where it's still dry there, but we do have a 50, 60% shot at some more showers, even thunderstorms tonight before sunshine calls for Friday. We'll talk about the timeline for the weekend after that, coming up after our break. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW, cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. For every $35 that you spend at the Essence of Health, you'll get a punch on our customer appreciation card. Ten punches will save you $10 off your next purchase. At Papa Murphy's, we know family time is more important than ever. So we're helping by offering online ordering everywhere and delivery and curbside pickup where we can. So you can keep family time as normal as possible. Papa Murphy's, we're in this together. Here at the Colorado Group, the health and well-being of our customers and employees is our top priority. Kohler has been privileged to serve this community for over 50 years. Our sales, service, and parts departments are open to serve you by appointment in order to provide a safe and healthy dealership visit. If you cannot make it to us, we will gladly come to you with a non-contact shopping or service experience. Please visit Colorado.com to set up your appointment today at any one of our family-owned dealerships. My part-time service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting NationalGuard.com. Has your roof seen its better days? Call Peak Construction Roofing today for your free estimate at guaranteed affordable rates. Peak Construction can finance you and will help you step-by-step step from start to finish. Call the best. Peak Construction Roofing. They'll do the rest. Let us take care of you. For the news that impacts you most, turn to live local CBS 3. Wake up with Austin and Jenna at 5 a.m. Get your new John Deere tractor from Duluth Lawn and Sport, the region's largest power sports dealer work hard for your money and deserve to see it go the extra mile. Join us Wednesday mornings and hear from local experts on tips to better manage your finances in Eye on Money on Live Local CBS 3. Brought to you by MPPL Financial. CBS 3 weather is brought to you by Cary Toyota. Now, the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Hmm. Well, let's talk about rain. Yesterday before midnight, we didn't do too badly. A lot of towns managed about a quarter of an inch. Then after midnight till now, things slowed down a little bit. And you can take a look, most towns really just got a trace to about a tenth of an inch. But there's another low pressure system still slated to work through the region over the next six hours. So these numbers could go up. And since it's been dry, we need the rain. 
And if we don't get it tonight, frankly, we get another decent shot at it coming around on Saturday. But first, we talk about the current conditions at the airport in Duluth. Look at that, 65 degrees. The long, cold snap seems to be over, at least for now. I say at least for now because there is still a sliver of snow in my yard that hasn't quite melted yet. I won't be a springtime believer till it all goes away. Uh, wind right now, it's westerly, southwesterly, 8 miles per hour. And the air pressure starting to come up, but don't let that fool you. It's because we're in between low pressure systems. The first one brought the first round of rain. The second one could bring a little more till about midnight tonight. Right now we have 57 waters meet 58. Ironwood 64 degrees in Ashland and similar conditions over towards Superior. 70 for Moose Lake. 61 degrees in Two Harbors. I'm stifling the urge to say oof to ah, there it slipped out anyway. 64 in Hibbing right now, 61 towards International Falls. And temperatures in the 60s, even 70s could be with us for the rest of the week. Doppler map right now shows to our east that low pressure system from earlier is indeed slipping away to the east rather rapidly and that is now allowing the other low pressure system from the northwest to start to enter the picture and that's the one that's bringing us a 50 60 percent chance for more rain till midnight tonight so the situation tonight does show that rain chance lingering and then fading away once we get past the witching hour and then well, tomorrow Higher pressure sliding in between two lows means Friday should be a sunny day. Maybe even Saturday morning will dawn sunny as well, but then the clouds come in from this next low pressure system, bringing us Saturday's rain chance, which runs about 50% as well. Seven-day forecast, time to eye that up. Tonight in Minnesota, we get low temps that are in the 30s and 40s. Holy cow. 50% rain chance, though, till about midnight, like I mentioned. Wisconsinites get the 60% chance and into the UP as well. With low temps in that part of the world, 42 to 44 degrees. Southwesterly wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, well, that little higher pressure cell wedging in between the two lows means a clear to partly cloudy sky. For Wisconsin and the UP with high temps running about 60 to 68 degrees into minnesota 50s by the lake and 60s inland clear to partly cloudy sky should be a beautiful day all across the board but then the board does get clouded up a little bit come saturday and another 50 percent chance for the rain does come across we hold on to high temps near 60 for Saturday and Sunday. 50% chance of rain Saturday afternoon. Saturday night becomes a 40% chance for shower Sunday morning with then sunshine building back in in the afternoon, which leads us to 65 to 70 Monday and Tuesday with sunshine. Then next Wednesday and Thursday, Tony, like we've been talking about for a couple of days here, it could become warm enough into the mid-70s on Wednesday for a chance for thunderstorms. In the meantime, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, looks like spring has sprung. My goodness. Those yeah, and when that factors. last one foot square patch of snow melts away in my yard, hopefully tonight, yeah. spring will officially, in my mind, be here. Snow Watch 2020. There we go. <laughs> St. Luke's and Essentia Hospital officials are chiming in after Governor Walls ordered Minnesota's stay-at-home order will be lifted on Monday. CBS 3's Leanne Valdez has more. And so we really appreciate you. At their last scheduled press conference Thursday morning, St. Luke's and Essentia officials agreed come Monday as more businesses start to open up, Twin Port residents should not let their guard down. This public health crisis isn't over. We're going to be dealing with this for months, possibly years. While hospital officials didn't address the situation in Wisconsin, they said they both respect Governor Walz's latest order and says he's in a tough position. He has to balance the health and safety of the community with the economic health of the community. We're very appreciative to the governor and, again, believe he's approached this in a very deliberate and thoughtful way. When asked if they think the new order will lead to a surge in patients... Will it move up the surge a little bit? You know, potentially. But both hospitals say they're ready for whatever may come their way. We're grateful that we've had this time to prepare better, make sure we have enough PPE, make sure everyone's trained and we know what we're going to do when it happens. Uh, it has bought us the time to prepare. We are prepared. They say at the end of the day, it's up to the community to do things like hand hygiene and social distancing to keep everyone safe. I and I know my colleagues here would urge everyone to continue using their best judgment. Again, this was both hospitals' last scheduled press conference. If the current situation changes, they will schedule more. Meanwhile, the Minnesota Nurses Association has reservations about lifting the stay-at-home order. In a statement, union reps cited concerns over personal protective equipment supply and testing capacity. 
They're asking Minnesotans to donate PPE and continue social distancing. The union also wants the state to test more people. Like many during the pandemic, people are getting creative to show loved ones how much they care. And a group on the Fond du Lac Band did just that earlier this week. The group sang happy birthday to a native elder on the Fond du Lac Reservation on Tuesday. It was Geneva McMillan's 67th birthday and she's currently in home hospice. This was an extra special birthday surprise because those drummers are actually her nephews. Well, it's that time of the show where we get to talk about pets who are looking for their forever home. Today's pet comes to us from Range Regional Animal Rescue in Hibbing. Meet Seymour. He's a 12-year-old domestic short hair with orange and white coloring. I think we're going to see Seymour in a moment here. Seymour can be described as a chill, go-with-the-flow kind of cat. He does have a dominant personality, so he won't mesh well with other alpha male type cats, but is just fine with dogs as long as they aren't too crazy. Seymour is currently being treated for an eye infection, but it is getting better. There he is. He will still need to be neutered before he can leave. If you are interested in adopting Seymour, you can call the number on your screen to set up an appointment. And for some extra pet news today, we are happy to announce that Zan, a pet we covered on the show previously, has found his forever home. Way to go, Zan. Still to come, hair salons are among businesses opening their doors in response to the Supreme Court ruling in Wisconsin. We are strong and we'll get through this together, but these are stressful times. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, and know that you are not alone. Visit wearebroadcasters.com slash hope. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. During this COVID-19 crisis, everyone is experiencing raised stress levels. Business is disrupted and consumers are scared. The result can create tense situations. The Better Business Bureau encourages everyone to treat each other with grace, respect, and empathy. We need to work together. When life begins to normalize, people will remember how they were treated during this time. If businesses and consumers treat each other fairly, these relationships will last far beyond this crisis. Clarity. Honesty. Trust. At Live Local CBS 3, these are more than just words. They're a promise. A promise that in times of uncertainty. In times of fear, we're here for you. Here to help you understand. To help you protect the things that matter most to you. To bring you facts, not fear. That's our promise to you. We're live. We're local. We're CBS 3. I don't believe there's another meteorologist in this area who has the experience and years that Dave has. He's an Ely guy, he's local, he's been here. His experience, that's something that's really special to CBS3. He, he's just like this bastion of knowledge. He remembers everything. Get to know Dave Anderson weekday nights on live local CBS3. Powerful change occurs when people unite. We unite people to activate positive change, to make lives better. Help us fight for what's right for all, basic needs, access to health care, a good education, and financial stability. There's strength in numbers. Join us and live united. HLUnitedWay.org. During this COVID-19 crisis, everyone is experiencing raised stress levels. Business is disrupted and consumers are scared. The result can create tense situations. The Better Business Bureau encourages everyone to treat each other with grace, respect, and empathy. We need to work together. When life begins to normalize, people will remember how they were treated during this time. If businesses and consumers treat each other fairly, these relationships will last far beyond this crisis. You're going to pick that up? Because there's no poop fairy to do that for you. See? Take these. They're not just poop bags. They're pride bags. Because you're doing the right thing for your neighbors and for the health of the whole watershed. Gotta fly. There's a chihuahua cranking one out in Leicester right now. There is no poop fairy. Watch Anthony Mann weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS3 Duluth. 
Some Wisconsin hair salons are back to work. In Superior, we found a barber shop that decided to open. The owner didn't want to do an interview, but we were able to talk to the salon next door, which is waiting to reopen. Pat Johnson owns Salon on 59th. He spent today brainstorming what he thinks is the safest way to open his doors. He says when he does eventually open, he will have all of his employees wear face masks and gloves and give them more time between appointments for cleaning. He says he would rather be safe than sorry, so he's waiting to hear more guidance from the governor. Well, we'd like to open right up. I think we're prepared, but uh, on the other hand, we're on the more cautious side because, uh, you know, we don't want uh, you know, the people here to get sick or the people coming in to get sick. It's, it's a scary deal. Meanwhile, Minnesota's governor announced yesterday that hair salons and barber shops can't open until June 1st. Brianna Honer owns the Color Lounge in Duluth. She says she has some mixed feelings about Wisconsin's versus Minnesota's rulings. It is discouraging to know that uh, just over the bridge, they're able to open up and um, conduct business, but it is also, I'm glad for them. Owner added that she'll be taking extra precautions once she does open, and she's excited to get back to work. Meanwhile, in Minnesota, Governor Walz's order says Minnesota churches and places of worship must still limit their gatherings to just 10 people. We talked with Kyle Eaton, who is the lead pastor at Rock Hill Community Church in Duluth Lincoln Park neighborhood. He says this change won't be affecting how he has held his service for the last few months. This is because it takes 10 staff members to put on their live stream. Eden says the biggest change will be with the church's small groups who can now meet in person rather than virtually. He added that small group worship is extremely important to well-being. Church isn't just a service, it's a, it's a community of people. And I think what people are missing, it's not the building. People are missing relationships with other people, the connection, the smiling faces, the, the sense of being in something together. We are still waiting to learn what the Diocese of Duluth has planned. Meanwhile, after Wisconsin Supreme Court order, the Diocese of Superior says they won't be making any drastic changes soon. Diocese reps say they want to let the dust settle before deciding whether to continue holding mass in person. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, whistleblower Rick Bright tells Congress our window of opportunity is closing to stop the pandemic from getting worse, warning the U.S. could face the darkest winter in modern history. Plus, our series Racing to a Cure, how a drug combination could be a one-two punch to knock out COVID-19. And we'll meet a five-year-old stepping up as America's cutest substitute teacher. That's all coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News. For the news that impacts you most, turn to live local CBS 3. Wake up with Austin and Jenna at 5 a.m. At UCARE, we've been decomplicating Medicare plans in Minnesota for a long time. In fact, we've been offering Medicare Advantage plans longer than anyone else. Our Medicare Advantage plans are affordable. And 96% of Minnesota providers accept UCARE. So if your provider practices at any of these clinics or hospitals, you can likely keep them. To learn the basics and see how you care Medicare Advantage plans compare to others, visit ucare.org slash TV. favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW cable satellite over the air and streaming on KDLH Duluth. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Matt tonight at 6 right after the CBS Evening News at 5:30. For breaking stories that impact the Northland most, turn to CBS 3. Watch Anthony Matt weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS 3 Duluth. For the news that impacts you most, turn to live local CBS 3. Wake up with Austin and Jenna at 5 a.m. We want to say thank you. Thank you. To the first responders. Thank you. To the truck drivers. And delivery people. Thank you. Thank you. To the doctors. The nurses. And all the hospital workers. The grocery store workers. The janitors. And sanitation workers. Show them kindness patience and gratitude they are the real heroes thank you for all of your bravery and hard work thank you all find your favorite cw shows on the duluth cw cable satellite over the air and streaming on kdlh duluth 
Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over the harbor. Let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories and a peek at what's coming up tonight at 6. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers is asking Wisconsinites to stay the course following the Supreme Court's decision to shoot down the state's Safer at Home extension during a press conference. Today, the governor said the court's ruling, quote, um, threw the state uh, into chaos. He is encouraging residents to continue to stay home limit travel and wear a mask. And some businesses in Superior are taking full advantage of that ruling while others are not. Grox in Superior was among those businesses that made the decision to open their doors just hours after the announcement was made last night. Meanwhile, Thirsty Pagan, also in Superior, says they're going to wait to open while other businesses are planning to reopen this weekend. And coming up tonight at 6, you, the viewers, had a lot to say in response to the Supreme Court's decision. Coming up at 6, we're hearing arguments from both sides of the debate from viewers like you. That's your news tonight at 5. The CBS Evening News is up next. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at 6.